into your love message from your person to you. Um, this is a form of communication. Um, a messages that want to come through for you from your person. Take it as a love note, love, love letter, voice to text, however you want to receive. This is a message from your person to you. Capricorn. And I want to communicate to you my frustrations, how I didn't trust my intuition, how I felt blocked, stuck. I was cold, I was controlling. And maybe I treated you as an option. Maybe I was wearing a mask. Sometimes I present one way to protect how I truly feel. I play my cards close to my chest and I, um, sometimes when I really care, I, I don't communicate. <laughs> And it, and it could be strategic as a way to protect my emotions, to mask the true nature of how I feel. But in doing so, that brought out my own jealousies and my own insecurities because you didn't know how I truly felt. So how could I expect you to act accordingly if I presented a certain way I want this okay all I do is think about this connection and I'm trying to manifest this connection I'm all in my mind about it I'm all in my mind about you but it's hard to it's hard to understand how you truly feel as well you're always so in control of your emotions so I kind of felt as if I had to be that way too but ultimately I have a lot of passion for you and a lot of emotion for you I don't want to feel like an option so I kind of mask how I truly felt Capricorn you are always surrounded by like important people you're always busy with work. And honestly, that makes me jealous to a certain extent, you know? I want to build something with you. 
But at the same time, I feel like there's certain things about you that I don't know. I feel like there could be someone else that you're building with. And if that's the case, I have to take accountability because like I said, I wasn't upfront with my true feelings for you. I mean, I'm good on my own and I am self-sufficient and independent and I know that that's what, it was attra what attracted to you to me in the beginning. And I'm not sure if I made it seem to you that I'm good and I, I am good, don't get me wrong. I'm self-sufficient, independent. I don't know if I overplayed the role of independent. I don't need anyone, okay? Because I want you to understand that it's not my goal to be single forever. And I see so much potential in you and our connection. I didn't want to allow myself to get in over my head. I, I actually honestly see that we are both very much alike. We are both independent. We're both um, not so... Um, We're not the most open with our emotions and how we communicate them. But I didn't want to get in over my head and show how much emotion that I have for you. And um, I kind of kept a lot of that to myself. I didn't want to have unrealistic expectations about our connection. Um... I didn't want to get full of myself thinking that I don't know I just I have an odd way okay and it's probably conditioning of not even intentionally but in a way manipulating how I'm seen in a connection, okay? Coming off as fully independent and strong, self-sufficient was my way subconsciously of making you understand that I was not in this for what you have because you are very um, recognized in what it is that you do and um, I didn't want you to think that I was in this for what you have and in doing so I think that I underplayed how I truly felt emotionally about you I don't think I got that message conveyed in the way that I wanted to, right? Um, and I know that you may think that's immature or that that stems from some type of insecurity. Maybe it does, but I don't want you to think that I don't care. I don't want you to think that I don't care because I do a great deal. In fact, um, 
I find myself feeling protective over you. Um, maybe even a little bit of um, jealousy creeping in when I look at your profile online. Um, I kind of want to take this to the next level. But I'm I'm kind of waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Um, because I don't deal with rejection very well. Okay, and um, I don't know. That's something I, I probably need to work on, but I have a lot of feelings for you, and I know I feel like I've made things confusing when they didn't have to be, so I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you to make the first move here because I don't want to feel any type of rejection. But I do, um, I do want to um, work on this. I'm not giving up on this, you know. Um, I am, I'm going to work at trying to eradicate that um, ideal of like perfection on myself towards you. And um, I know that you are busy, so am I, but I wanna make time for this connection. I wanna, I wanna invest in it. I want to build something here. Honestly, I know it's something that I want to invest in because I find myself thinking about you at night. Um, I feel like we have this like deep, like telepathic connection and um, I'm getting downloads. I'm getting, like I said, you're in my dream. So I think that's a good sign. So um, I don't know where this is going to go, but maybe younger and I know like I said it may seem immature how this offer is coming about because I know that I wasn't completely upfront about my my feelings and that it might seem like petty games to you and it may seem toxic you know but it's not it's not, it's just, um, I'm being honest with you now. I really care. I really wanna see where this goes. There are just some details that I didn't display in this situation, but ultimately, I'm obsessed with you and that's not in a bad way it's like a cute way it's a good way okay I like you a lot 